Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today I'm doing another episode of Matt Rants. And before we talk about the topic of the episode, I want to start off by talking to some new listeners or potential new listeners, because I want to talk to you guys about how Matt Rants usually works. Now, yes, of course, it is about me, Matt, doing rants about stuff, but the format is usually me asking a question at the beginning of the episode, then in the middle of the episode, either giving facts uh, or other information about the topic or story itself, and also throwing in my opinion and other potentially funny jokes, maybe to some, maybe not. Uh, not to some others, but at the end of the episode, we then answer the question. In today's episode, I'm actually going to be answering the question very early in the episode, but of course, we have to ask that question first. So let's move on to the topic, which if you've seen the title of the video and the description, uh, and also the thumbnail, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, then you know what we're talking about. But with the question that we're asking today is, did Sega really just confirm the Dreamcast Mini? Uh, and this is also a similar question that was asked by comicbook.com. That's where we're sourcing this from, so that will be in the description box down below, and they asked the question, did Sega just confirm the Dreamcast Mini, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, I didn't want to ask the same exact question because I didn't want to copy the headline, but it pretty is, it pretty much is self-explanatory. So I'm actually going to answer this right now. No. No, they did not. Now, some of you guys out there are like, hey, Matt, don't crush my hopes and dreams. I want a Sega Dreamcast Mini. And guess what? So do I. I have a Dreamcast and it doesn't work. I've actually had it for years, but I didn't even realize we still had it. I thought maybe my dad or my brother sold it or something like that. Um, but I finally was able to go back to my dad's house and I found it deep dived into a boiler room just to get it. And it turns on just fine, but it doesn't output video or audio at all. It doesn't output video or audio at all all. I plugged it into my new TV, which you might be thinking that's the problem. I plugged it into my CRT television. No, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't do that. It turns on, the controllers are just fine, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it. So I have to get a new Dreamcast. If I had to get a Dreamcast Mini to be able to play either some of the, some games that would be on it or higher ticket titles, I would love to. Because as of right now, I don't have a Dreamcast. I have one that sits there, and it looks pretty, and I love it, but it doesn't actually work. So yes, I would like to play games on a Dreamcast uh, rather affordably, and I assume a Mini would do just the job. But the reason why I'm saying that, hey, I don't actually think that Sega has confirmed or even rumored, like even hinted at a new Sega Dreamcast, here's why. So looking in the article itself, if you guys haven't already, you can see a tweet. By the way, the tweet is from Sega's Japanese Twitter account, and that's relevant for a few reasons. So, first of all, when it was translated by a Sega fan, uh, specifically at Dreamcast Gaga, this person wrote, Sega Japan suddenly asking people to pick their favorite Dreamcast variation from the following. Dreamcast Mini confirmed? Uh, just like that. It was tweeted just like that. So, when you look at uh, Sega's official tweet, not only is it in Japanese, which would make you think, but wouldn't a Dreamcast Mini be for every market, not just specifically the Japanese market, but another thing too is the fact that looking at the different versions that are that are pictured down below none of them are the original dreamcast they're all dreamcast variations so i wonder if the phrase variation in the translation of the tweet isn't talking about oh these dreamcast variation like all these different ones specifically dreamcast variants i.e hey which one of these variants do you like the most that wouldn't mean that we'd be getting closer to a, Se a sega dreamcast mini because no clone console, or rather no classic console, rather, or mini if you want to use that you know generic term, mini or classic console has had variations released. They've had the, yes, there was a 2018 NES version, but it didn't look like a top loader. So there's either going to be the one version, the one quote unquote definitive version, or no mini. So looking at the fact that they're asking which one of these do you like the most, they're probably just asking which one of these do you like the most? Another reason why I feel as if it would be odd to have it be a Japanese tweet is because, yes, while the Sega Mega Drive Mini was supposed to be uh, a Japanese exclusive before it then opened itself up to be internationally released, at the same time, it would be odd to only do this for the Japanese market and not ask the US market as well. Some would say it's also odd to skip the Sega Saturn, but sadly the Sega Saturn didn't sell well. Now, yes, I do believe there were many other reasons. It wasn't as if Sega Saturn was a bad system and Sega has their own internal blueprint, so it's not like it would be hard for them to emulate versus you know the general public to emulate as it has been for the Sega Saturn. But still, it actually would make sense to do a Sega Dreamcast in a, in a way before doing a Sega Saturn. I wouldn't like it, because I would like them to be released in order, but I do kind of get it from a marketing perspective. Again, they're just looking at the numbers and they're thinking which one sold better. Oh, that one. Well, then that one will sell better now. 
But the biggest issue for me, not just posting it on the Japanese side of things first before uh, doing it to the US side as well, but the fact that the Sega Mega Drive Mini hasn't even been released yet. It was supposed to be released in 2018, which if it was released in 2018, then I kind of would understand why this would be released uh, in 2019, potentially during the holiday season. Uh, this, of course, being a Sega um, Dreamcast Mini. But if you have a mini console that hasn't even been released yet, why would Sega be drumming up interest in trying to promote a brand new mini console? When has Sega ever done something like this? Well, okay, actually there was that one time. But like other than that one time, when is Sega, at, well, okay, there was like that second time. But e other than those, well, okay, like three times. But other than those three times, when has Sega ever done something like this? Trying to drum up interest for a new console of some type while having another one on the horizon or not even out yet? Come on, I mean, other than those many times they've never done that so would say no but all jokes aside though i don't think sega would do something like that because they already have so many other ones and yes those were at games ones but still we don't even know who they're working with yet i believe we don't even know what new company they're working with for the sega mega drive mini uh, I knew it was a local Japanese company, but I don't think we have the exact name as of yet. If you guys know, please correct me down in the comment section down below. But as far as I know, we don't even know the name of that company yet. So it's just odd that Sega would even actually be trying to drum up interest and work on something when we don't even have the Mega Drive Mini out. And we don't even know when it's coming out. We know it's coming out 2019, but it could be in January. It could be in February. Heck, it, they could be waiting for the holiday season. And if so, then obviously we wouldn't be having a Dreamcast Mini until 2020. So it is so far away that it would be odd for them to do this to try to actually drum up any kind of interest. Why would they be doing that? It just doesn't make any sense. Now, I know we want more minis, uh, specifically from Sega, because we have the NES and the SNES Classic. Uh, I think that, sadly, I think the PS1 Classic classic for me even though I don't have one yet so we are still going to do a review on one when it does come in I didn't buy it myself but a friend of the channel Satish Ram did so that's coming into me and I'm going to do a review on it but I have done some Matt rants on other people's takes and specific issues that have been uh, talked about with the PS1 classic and really that kind of soured me on the idea of classics, not because, I'm not saying I wouldn't want an N64 classic, I'm not saying that every single classic is bad now, but it's just the idea that with an amazing library like uh, like the PS1, having Sony bungle that, seemingly bungle that, because again, when I get my hands on it, I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can, but having them bungle it so far the way that they have it really does hurt because the Dreamcast is not easy to emulate. Yes, you would think that Sega, like I said earlier with Saturn, would have their own internal documents to be able to uh, make a really good emulator for it, but if they don't, and they do what uh, Sony did and potentially use one that's just a quote-unquote off the rack, one that's just easily available, and it plays games, but not as well as they could have if they use their own internal stuff. Like if Sony used whatever they're using for uh, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, for the Vita, for PlayStation Home, then this could end poorly. So I do want a Sega Dreamcast Mini, don't get me wrong. But after seeing what's been going on with the PlayStation 1 Mini or the PlayStation 1 Classic, I am a little bit nervous as we're getting into games that are a bit harder to emulate on th on things that would make them affordable enough and be cheap enough. So having an NES Classic be $60, it's understandable because not only are the, you know, the file size is small, but emulating NES games is not that difficult. Same thing with the SNES. And 64 PS1 though, that's when we start to get a little bit more difficult. Now I would want those even more because you would assume uh, if you don't have a good setup to emulate PS1 or N64 games, like the computers that I have, the laptops that I have suck a lot. Like they really, really are bad when it comes to emulation. So I would love to be able to actually get, like even if I got some something like a Retroad, still an emulation is involved, so it wouldn't even matter. It just is that bad for my laptop specifically. So having a classic for me would be awesome, especially again for the Sega Dreamcast, which games are kind of going up in price. But I think in this case, this tweet was just a tweet. I'm still holding out hope. I think is going to be one one day, even though I do have my feelings about what the PS1 Classic may have done to the mini market and kind of shown some of the flaws and things like this. 
that does not mean that they're all dead, right? I'm not going to sit here and be like, and that's the death of all mini classic consoles. No, 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 no. We still have the Sega Mega Drive Mini. We still have to see how that looks. Uh, it will probably be better than at games consoles, but then again, many things are that exist. So many things can emulate better than at games consoles. And I haven't heard negative things about other minis that are out, like the C64 Mini. The Neo Geo uh, one, I think it was the Neo Geo Arcade or Neo Geo Pocket, I've heard some mixed reviews here and there. Um, also, the if you want to call the Atari VCS one, that one isn't out just yet. Uh, the ZED Spectrum, yeah, ZED Spectrum, pretty sure that's the name. There was some, or the Vega, something along those lines, there were some issues there as well. So there have been some other issues, don't get me wrong, but I do think that if the N64 one does eventually come out, and there was some talk about it not coming out, we did a Matt Rans on that as well, but if it does come out, I do think that would maybe just remind people, hey, it's not that all classic, you know, it's not that classic consoles uh, or mini consoles are the issue, just maybe some that aren't Nintendo related. But again, if the Mega Drive Mini does well, that would definitely make Sega think, oh, these things are also valuable for us as well. And I assume they would move on to do the, uh, the Dreamcast Mini. Again, hopefully a Saturn one as well. But I don't know if I would hold my breath for that. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think that Sega is signaling for a Dreamcast Mini coming out soon? Maybe 2019? Maybe 2020? Or do you think that this was just a fun little tweet because these variations look pretty fun and they just want to make a tweet? You know, just keep the brand alive in some way or another. Uh, or do you think that this is just a nothing burger and that when you saw people, just like when I saw people talking about this online, I thought, oh, this is awesome. Let's see what, you know, Sega maybe put out. Was this like a leaked picture or something like that? And then you saw a tweet from the Japanese Sega account. Tell me what you guys think down below. Thank you all so much for listening in or watching as always. Please remember to like, subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, you can still like and subscribe either way. And if you want access to these in MP3 format and all of the Matt rants that I've ever done in MP3 format, then you can actually go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash tgproductions. Give to us there, and depending on what tier you give to, you can get access to, again, not just one Matt rants, all of them that we have ever done. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Love you all. Take care, and tune in next time for another episode of Matt Rants. All right, guys. So... See ya.